Here we go with another list of things we just can't seem to get the hang of. Luckily for you, we're here to give the tips and tricks you'll need to make your life easier. And you may be shocked at some of the things you've not been using correctly, from how to peel certain fruits, how to hold a burger, how to save your precious ice cream and beyond. This is things you've been doing wrong the entire time. Number 15. This actually works. We can't believe that we didn't know this simple trick to open oranges without struggling to peel off all the white pieces of inner peel and all the strings. This is basically blasphemy. All one has to do is cut off the top and the bottom of the orange, make a cut on one side following one of the lines between the pieces to the center, and then just open it up. It literally just folds out and presents the pieces to you ready for the picking. And it kind of resembles the spines on a dragon's back. It comes out pretty perfect and is a fun way to peel oranges for your kids or for anyone in general. Take the hassle out of oranging. Try it this way. Number 14. Yes. This little trick is for all you sweetheads out there, all of you that love ice cream. Okay, so this is like for everyone. This whole time, you've been putting your ice cream in the freezer and been dealing with a rock hard, frozen beyond belief treat and you didn't really have to be. All it takes is putting your container, yes, the entire container, of the delicious novelty inside a plastic bag. Then you can put it in the freezer like normal, but your ice cream isn't going to freeze solid as it usually would. Instead, it will stay soft enough to scoop whenever you want it. Number 13, Easy Banana. You know how you associate bananas with chimpanzees and all other forms of monkey? Well, we're not here to tell you that they don't really eat bananas or anything, but we are going to ask if you've ever paid attention to how they eat this delicious fruit. They don't do it right side up like we do, but upside down, and it's actually way easier that way. We know, peeling into a banana isn't really hard in the first place, right? But think back. Think of all those times you fought and struggled just to break into a simple fruit. If you had turned it upside down, your problem would have been solved nearly instantaneously. Now you know. Number 12. Wait, what? You know how when you eat a cupcake, you only get the delicious frosting on part of the thing and the other half is just, well, cake? This right here is a little game changer. Instead of eating around the frosting until the end or gobbling it all up at the beginning, you could just cut your cupcake in half and then place the bottom half of the cake on top and make a cupcake sandwich. Why don't they just come like this in the first place? If only we'd known this years ago, we'd have enjoyed cupcakes so much more. Number 11, spin settings. If you've got a ceiling fan in your house, you probably don't even know it yet, but you've more than likely been using it wrong this whole time, or at least 50% of the time. Did you know that as the seasons change, you're supposed to change the spin direction on your fan? That's right, there should be a switch or a button or something else that allows you to change the direction that your fan spins to help out at different times of the year. When it's cold, make sure you have the blades rotating clockwise to get an updraft, which will force the warm air that's sitting by the ceiling down onto your freezing body. In the summer, get it to turn counterclockwise and enjoy a gentle breeze to cool off your hot skin. Number 10, forget lint rollers. How much of a pain in the butt can lint rollers be? Sure, they're pretty great at picking up a lot of the lint and fuzz plaguing your clothes, but they always seem to leave something behind. You go over and over the spots trying to get what remains, but there is no use, it's pointless, and you throw the sticky roller down in anger. What if we told you that if you have an extra shaving razor on hand, you're in luck. A razor will quickly pick up what the lint roller cannot and will even collect those spots that have built up clumps and rolls of fabric over time. Who knew that razors were so versatile? Number nine. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's pretty darn near impossible to open cans of soda, juice, beer, or whatever else you may have to drink in a can, isn't it? What if we told you that you no longer need to break your nails or chip your teeth trying to get them to open? What if we told you that all you needed was a bottle opener to get the job done? Just wedge the thin metal opener underneath the tab, apply pressure, and voila, your can is open and ready to drink. This also works with many other thin metallic objects like silverware or change. So now that we've given you the knowledge, put it to good use. Drink a cold one for us. Number eight, fingers free. Have you ever eaten a bag of chips and wished you could somehow keep your fingers and hands from getting completely covered in whatever flavoring the chips have? Well, now you can because of something you've never thought of before and it's actually kind of fantastic. Just grab a pair of chopsticks and dive in. Snack on all of your favorite snacks without getting your fingers all powdery, sticky, or messy. You will have to learn how to use chopsticks quite well though, so we'd recommend you start practicing now. Don't pick up this habit if you're a finger licker either. Flavoring doesn't stick to chopsticks as well as fingers, and we don't want you to be disappointed. 
Number seven, lucky number 57. Do you fiddle and faddle with the ketchup bottle at restaurants for what feels like hours just to get one little dab of ketchup to come out? If you've ever had to use a glass bottle of Heinz 57, you'll know what we're talking about. But luckily for all of us, there's a simple solution to this problem and it's a lot easier than you think. Instead of trying to shove things up into the bottle and scrape the ketchup out, just hold the bottle at an angle and tap on the embossed 57 on the side that's located just below the neck. Repeat that for a few seconds and pretty soon, you should have a flowing river of ketchup. Thank us the next time you go to a restaurant and don't end up giving up and just eating plain dry fries. Number six, even heating. Leftovers can be a pain, with some of the food heating up in the microwave while the underside stays cold. Then you stir it and get most of it hot, but there's still always that one section that didn't quite get on board with what you're trying to do. Wanna fix this heating problem? Just make a hole in the center of your food, and this will allow the food to be heated more evenly, and you shouldn't have any more problems with pesky cold spots. Go on, give it a try next time you need to heat or reheat something. You'll be glad you listened to us. Number five, perfect pasta. We have mentioned this before in previous videos, but just in case you're new here, we'll tell you about it again. Have you ever sat and wondered why they would make a hole in your pasta spoon? Or perhaps you've come to the conclusion that it's there for the water to drain through. It does work to let water drain through as most holes do, but it's actually there for an entirely different reason. The hole represents the perfect amount of pasta for one serving and can help you keep your portion under control. If you regularly make more or less than you need, but who does that? You can now have a measure as to how much you really need with this neat trick. Do it right from here on out. Number four, no more dents. Do you wanna be able to cut your loaves of bread without denting the heck out of it while doing so? Well, this little hack is one of the simplest solutions to a problem on this list because all you have to do is flip the thing over and cut from the bottom. The flat surface of the bottom of the loaf will allow you to cut through it no problem without the annoying dents that happen when you try and cut through the curve top. Easy. Number three, burger basics. All right, so we'll admit, this probably isn't one of the burger eating basics, but it totally should be. We should be taught how to hold a burger like this from a very young age. Heck, it would have saved our parents lots of messes and frustration over wasted money. All you have to do is support four different areas on the bottom of the burger with your pinkies and thumbs, as you can see in this picture. And you can use your other hands for holding the top bun. This method helps to keep your meal intact and holds the ingredients inside in place. This is very smart, and it's so obvious that we can't believe we didn't figure this one out for ourselves years ago. Number two, attention ladies. As you probably know, most people in America at least wear some form of underwear, right? We hope. Ladies, you may think that that little piece of extra fabric in yours was put in intentionally to I don't know, store something. But if you believe that, you're wrong. In underwear in general, to meet health standards, manufacturers need to put in a special layer of soft fabric so that, you know, nothing gets irritated. But the way that women's underwear is made makes it impossible for companies to fully close the layer because the seams could lead to some unwanted discomfort. So they skip closing it entirely, and it just so happens to form a little pocket inside. But that's not what it was really meant for in the first place. Now you know. We've got one more fun one for you, but first we'd like to ask, have any of the things on this list helped you decide to do something different and change your life for the better forever? We'd love to hear what's helped you out and what you already knew about down in the comments below. Number one, whoa. You know when you write something down and only want certain people to see it and then you need to get rid of the whole evidence of what you wrote? You can never seem to scribble and cross out enough to hide what you wrote in the first place, no matter how much crossing you do. There is a simple solution to this though, and it's oh, so very simple. All you need to do is write down different words over the top of what you initially wrote. Just a few should do, and ta-da! Your secret note is hidden and indecipherable. It should only take a few different words over the top to disguise your writing. Awesome, right? If this video taught you anything useful, do us a favor and click on the thumbs up below. As we said before, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe right here on this screen so you don't miss any of our great content in the future. If you're interested, we picked a video we think that you'd love and put it right here on this screen. So go ahead and click it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy more from Taltanic.